Hello, Carol Taylor Carney here at Palane Arts, and I am with Raina Hawkins and this beautiful green precious jewel, and she's going to tell us about it. Raina. Um, okay, so in general, I uh, I work really intuitively when I paint, and I um, it's kind of like a meditative process for me. It helps me keep me like happy and sane, and um, <laughs> it's basically like a therapy for me. Mm -hmm. And usually, when I start painting, I come up with the color idea first, like a palette, mm -hmm. or at least two or three colors that I want to work with. Mm -hmm. And that's usually my jumping off point. So once I've chosen the colors, I mean, it can be, I can, I can be inspired by, you know, a photograph or something I see in nature or art that I see. And like, I'll take that, that palette and try and make my own, you know, my own version of, of those colors. And then, um, so this one um, has, a lot of uh, fluid acrylic in it. Mm -hmm. So it's basically like a lot of kind of like drippy, drippy um, paint that was like um, kind of put onto the panel uh, and like kind of like almost like bubbled up like this and then yeah. dried flat. It almost looks like an enamel or a resin as yeah. opposed yeah. to like um, a thicker medium, like straight acrylic or straight oil mm -hmm. paint. Yeah. And then also I, um, I used a little bit of regular acrylic for like the white. And I, um, I wanted to try, like I had seen, so I've seen a video on Instagram of someone like who was using, um, corrugated cardboard in their painting. And I just thought it looked really cool. And, um, so I wanted to try that. And so, you know, that was another, another aspect of this piece. And also I just, I just like how the dripped paint kind of falls into the crevices of the, of the cardboard and just looks kind of cool. And then, um, you know, a lot of times when I'm when I'm working on something, I will paint like I know mean, I'll post on Instagram like different um, versions of it. You know, this is where I am right now, and I'll, I'll have solicit mm -hmm. feedback from from friends. And um, so I think at one point I had posted this. I wasn't I don't remember if it was when it was finished or when it was like close to finished. And one of my friends um, commented and said, "Oh, it looks like birds in flight." Oh no! <laughs> yes. You can kind of yeah. see that. So I mean, after that, I really I really liked that idea, but. Um, the reason why it's called Hello Sunshine is because um, that's a Aretha Franklin song. Oh, yeah. And I love Aretha Franklin, but I had never heard this song. And I just kind of stumbled onto the song. And I was, like, listening to it a lot when I was painting this. And I name all my paintings after songs. I love that. As a so, musician, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, so that's why it's called Hello Sunshine. And it's also got a lot of yellow in it. It's, like, a happy piece. And that's, that's sort of a lot of the reason why I paint is, like, I want to... It gives me joy, so I want to give other people joy with my work. I love how you're playing with texture and line here, and I really feel like yeah. the way that you're playing with the corrugated cardboard, uh, it adds texture, but then it also adds the lines, and the drips add a more fluid line, and you've played with that really nicely. I love that your friend said that it reminds you, reminded her of birds, because to me, it does look like you're looking into a sun-dappled forest or... Yes tree and all of these objects are coming together and this is what your eye would experience with the motion yeah very very nice so um when you look at this um do you think of it as being an abstraction or do you think of it as being um an abstraction related to nature or um just an abstraction related to the song um I think of it more as an abstraction. This particular piece as an abstraction related to nature because once I saw those birds, I really thought, yes, that's that's like I love that feeling. Yeah. And I love that that's what happened sort of accidentally. So I kind of just like built on it from there. When you think of composition, because you do work intuitively and you walked us through your process of making this specifically, how do you start? Do you start with underpainting or you kind of are assembling everything all at once? Um, I usually start with an underpainting. I don't think I did for this one though, but I'm not, I don't remember. But, um, but like, basically it's kind of like, I make some like haphazard almost marks and then I like step back and respond to those mm -hmm. marks, um, in a way that is like maybe more mindful of, a, of an actual composition. Yeah. So it's not just like free for all. Well, we, yeah. We always say every piece, like my mom always says, like Carol always says, it always starts with a mark. Every painting starts, or any piece of art, starts with a mark because everything else is going to react to that first mark. Yes? Yeah, yeah. And, but I was going to ask you a little something about the color because um, obviously people understand the um, relationship that you have here 
because there are subtle blues and the yellows, which of course together make green. And then you have a variety of greens in this, and but then it gets really dark and you'll see almost an outline, even on this, of black. And it, it really um, de determines, you know, how my eye moves through this. So could you talk a little bit about how you see the eye moving through this as you were doing it? Um, let me see. I mean, I, it's really hard for me to put into words what, what I do compositionally because yeah, that makes it's sense. pretty, it, that's pretty intuitive as well. Right. So um, I don't, I mean, I might say like maybe it's something basic like, oh, you know, there's a, there's a mark, there's a darkness here, so I should probably balance it somewhere else. And, you know, those kinds of decisions. But um, beyond that, it's not, it's not really like, it's not really, it just, I just do it. I don't really well, know how I do it. I think that it has to do with the starting with, it starts with a mark is it sounds like every mark you make is like reacting to other marks exactly. you've already made. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Sorry so, if I didn't explain that. No, you did. No, no, yeah. you did. <laughs> so how how can you how can you go wrong with such beautiful eye makeup that matches your piece? You're on fire right now. Well, well, well I just have to have to thank my friend Allison because she did an amazing job. So uh, if <laughs> thank we you, Allison. thank you, Allison. You can come in and do all of her. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, but that makes so much sense that like. Um, you because even your works your marks are working conversationally yeah. within the piece mm -hmm. well i'm going to just pick this up for a second because i want people to get the sense of these three-dimensional pieces and how the corrugated yeah of them did you put those on as oh, the well, let me finish. sorry they're, they're they're mirrored and yeah and so many of your your little marks that you're making too yeah yeah um, yeah, it's hard to photograph the one, the, yeah. the um, texture, unfortunately, but, um, which means you have to come in to see it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I, yeah, I started with, with, the the cardboard and I guess, I guess, yeah, I don't even remember if I consciously was making that decision to put those, those lines, but they definitely, yeah. they, they mirror each other. Yeah. 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 yeah so. I, I'm, I get especially amazed because like in this one, it's this clear and then it falls here and then up here we have this three-dimensional thing with the darker marks and it falls over here and over here mm -hmm. you really you know you really understand how these things come together and how people's eye moves well the final thing that i'll say is is that you are working with very vivid and intense color mm -hmm. um some of it is lighter some of it is darker and we tend to think of like brightness and darkness as what is brightness being the the light and being vivid but all of the colors here are very vivid and yet they work very well together. Uh, it has a nice sense of push and pull and it has a very bright energy, which I think, especially on a piece so small, is difficult to achieve. And yet this feels seamless and um, very. Well, when you do things like that, what happens with the color is exactly what happens with this. I mean, I have to straighten it out. <laughs> um, you, you see this and it's why. Your title is so appropriate because it does really shine. That yeah. yellow, um, it comes forward here like it's a leaf shape, but it also goes and makes the light of the painting and it, it glows. Yeah. You really glow. So, <laughs> so we hope that everyone will come see your terrific, and I'm going to say energetic. It's really vivid and energetic yeah. uh, piece, Hello Sunshine, mm -hmm. during our jury show, which is from uh, now through May 14th. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thanks.